Hey everyone, it's Jeff Freena with PocketNow.com and we are back with another video of the Motorola flip side. So far you've seen us unbox this device, you've also seen us give you an in-depth look at the hardware of this device. Well, now it's time to take a look at the software, more specifically the modal blur that is included on the Motorola flip side itself and what that entails and what that offers for features. So let's get started. <laughs> And we're back. And one of the first things we're actually going to take a look at is the software version or the version of Android that comes preloaded on this device. Now it is 2.1. We're going to actually show you that right now so you can see that. And as you'll see there, the firmware version is 2.1, update 1. So we are running Android 2.1. It's not Froyo yet. However, the Moto Blur UI skin does bring some of its own cool features to help hold you over. Now, the first that we're actually going to show is going to be the widget customization. Now, of course, Moto Blur is going to offer its own widgets, which we can actually see right here. And those range from toggles, so you don't have to actually spend money now in the market buying toggles, such as Bluetooth, airplane mode, that sort of thing. We're also going to have calendars, their own version of a calendar, date and time, as you'll see here, more toggles. They have an RSS reader for news, a very cool social networking application, status, I mean, pretty much you name it, weather, Wi-Fi toggle. For the most part, the basics are here. Now, to add one step onto that, you can actually resize these widgets just by holding them down. As you see, you can actually drag out now. We can make this weather the entire size of our home screen, and there it is. So it actually has a different form to it. Being able to change the size of some of your widgets with added functionality and added appearance is a very cool aspect of Model Blur that we really enjoy so far. Now, what you're seeing at the top of our home screen here is the social network widget. This basically is going to show mostly the Facebook status updates of our friends. As you can see here, this is one of our most recent. Now, if we actually click on this, we can actually keep updating from there. And it will actually bring us to the actual status update itself, which is very cool. We can actually scroll through these, as you can see here, which is very neat. It's actually an easy way to look at your friend's status updates on Facebook without having to actually go into the Facebook application itself. Now, on top of that, you can actually post your own status update just by pressing your little icon down here that has the pencil over it. We can actually go ahead and press that. And now we can actually make our own status update from Facebook. We actually went about 10 minutes ago. It says, boom, goes the dynamite. And we can actually press here. And we can now say, test status update from Motorola Flipside. Now we've gone in and we've typed that out using the QWERTY keyboard. We can now press post. And it takes a little bit, most likely because that's actually connect back to the server. But it will actually post up that you can actually go back to the home screen while that's doing its thing and keep navigating through and you'll actually see a little icon that will pop up that says status updated. So while that's working, we're going to keep browsing through and keep navigating through here so we can show you what's going on. Now, if we swipe to the right, you're once again going to see that weather widget that we showed you. Now, we really haven't changed how this device has been set up from a pre-installed standpoint. So all the application shortcuts you're going to see were here when we actually opened the device and turned it on. Now on this page, like we said, we're going to see the weather icon. We're also going to have the Google Maps, AT&T Navigator, and the Yellow Pages Mobile. The choice is yours. It's whatever you want to do, which is very nice here. The openness is always good to have. Scrolling further to the right, we're going to have our next screen, which once again, we have not touched since we've opened it up. It's going to have the Mobi TV application shortcut, the mobile video, as well as the gallery. And then we're going to have the last page, which is going to have some of the toggles. So these are some of the toggles that Modal Blur is going to offer to actually give you a look at them. So that's the Wi-Fi toggle as well as the GPS toggle. So if I actually press this now, it turns off the GPS just like that. It makes life very easy, especially if you bring these icons closer to your home screen. Let's say you leave your house and you start to drive your car and you want to conserve on your battery life. You can turn off the Wi-Fi in the blink of an eye. Now, if we go back to the home screen and we start swiping toward the other side, as you can see, we're going to have these seven different screens you can take advantage of. Now, on the first screen to the left, we're going to have an unread or an unseen messages. So if we actually get a text message, it will actually populate in this widget up here. Now beneath that, you can actually add a speed dial, a direct dial to a shortcut. We've actually gone and taken it a step further and used the modal blur widget, which actually will bring up the contact itself. And they have a quick button for call as well as email. You can add text messaging, you can add directions to that, whichever works best for you. If we keep going a little further from there, we're going to see two more widgets, one of which is the RSS feed, which to be honest, seems to be a little buggy from our experiences, it seems to update whenever it wants to. Uh, about five minutes ago, it was updated, but as you can see right now, it's saying no recent news. So for some reason, it has a mind of its own. Now beneath that, we have the calendar widget, which features that unique and very useful resizing. So you can actually make this very big, as you see here. 
And now it's going to expand that even further for us. So it all depends on how you want your calendar to look. If you want to shrink it down to be more horizontal, you can do so. And it's actually going to flip and rearrange itself in a graphical manner. And then lastly, we have another blank screen. Now going back to the home screen, on the bottom left, you're going to have your dialer shortcut or your phone shortcut. And on the bottom right, you're going to have your contact shortcut. Now, instead of pressing either of those, we're actually going to head and go to the menu. Now, as you'll see, this just actually shows right up and you can scroll up and down in a very plain fashion. It's not going to give you that experience that some Android devices do that have the app actual applications scrolling on a wheel or on a grid. It's just very plain, very simple, but it still works great. Now, because this device uses Moto Blur, you're going to, of course, have your Moto Blur account. And also, because it's an AT&T device, you're going to have your AT&T applications, like the family mapping, the maps itself, music, navigator, AT&T radio, and the Wi-Fi hotspot applications. As far as the native Android application experience goes, it's going to be the same that you're going to get on practically every other Android device out there. This is actually the Gmail application you're seeing. And if you want to scroll through your actual image itself or the email itself, as you can see here, it is the same experience that you would get elsewhere. So that has been our software overview of the Motorola flip side. Our next video, we're actually going to compare the flip side against one of the devices that we've previously reviewed, the Samsung Transform. Now, both these devices are mid-range Android devices, so it should be an interesting test to see which is actually able to process videos as well as the browser test faster. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next video in our series. Thanks for watching, everyone.